So in this uh, fabric analysis laboratory, we do several things starting from uh, petrography to magnetic fabric analysis to image analysis and uh, it's a very active group. Here we see Rana who is doing looking at some of the thin sections. He is an RA in my project and then he also we also do fractal analysis like that with a software called Banoa so that we are able to quantify uh, the grain boundary sutures of uh, minerals like quartz and routine petrography can be done with uh, this microscope along with some digital image analysis and then we now also have our new acquisition which is the fully automated uh, microscope here and we see that there is a quartzite sample which is being analyzed and uh, this microscope comes with uh, an automated fully automated XY stage where the slide you see which is kept there this uh, remains fixed on the XY stage and then large number of images uh, can be automatically uh, captured with this uh, microscope and uh, the microscope stage automatically goes on moving as you can see an image acquisition is going on So the complete image has been acquired which you can see there. In this case it was uh, 5 by 5 was it? 5 by 5 images so 5 into 5 means 25 images. So this is a picture, a mosaic which is automatically created on a quartzite sample uh, uh, stitching together 25 uh, images uh, and it hardly took uh, 20 seconds to acquire this so this can be done for almost the entire thin section this how much is the area here it is uh, um, almost one centimeter, one, square. one centimeter square almost one centimeter square area with 25 images stitched together and then this uh, image can be uh, binarized and all the digital image processing can be done with the ExoVision uh, software which is available with this particular uh, microscope. So this is and then this microscope also comes with the correlative microscopy holder which uh, uh, enables shuttle and find between this light microscope and the scanning electron microscope uh, which is housed in our central research facility uh, of the institute in IIT Kharagpur. So this is the fabric analysis laboratory again with all these instruments. Vishnu sitting on the XO major M2M, our new acquisition, doing digital image analysis of a mosaic of a 25 images of a thin section of quartzite and then we have Rana who is busy doing some petrography and fractal analysis and we have Sandeep who is busy working with the cores So what we do here is we analyze 
cylindrical cores that have been obtained by drilling of uh, oriented samples that were collected in the field like that. So we have a drilling machine in our drilling unit and uh, cylindrical cores are extracted from this oriented sample. Uh, the size of every cylindrical core is uh, 25.4 millimeters in diameter and 22 millimeters in height and we drill multiple cores from every thin section, uh, oriented thin section collected from the field and then we insert uh, this kind, uh, this core which is extracted from the sample, we load it into the spinner, this holder of the kappa bridge and uh, Sandeep you can show that is the operation. So we uh, induce magnetism into the sample in different directions and then uh, we measure the susceptibility, magnetic susceptibility in different orientations and uh, this is how we get uh, the three principal axes of the magnetic susceptibility ellipsoid. Uh, so this was a measurement which was made in one orientation and then the orientation is changed and then the procedure is repeated. So this is how uh, all the this AMS analysis is done in the lab and eventually we get three principal axes of the AMS ellipsoid K1, K2 and K3 where K1 is the maximum, K2 is intermediate and K3 is the minimum and then since we work uh, on structural geology we relate uh, these orientations to the three principal axes of the strain ellipsoid and then make our interpretations. So this is how uh, uh, the magnetic uh, measurements of uh, anisotropy of magnetic susceptibility are made uh, in this uh, laboratory. Okay, so this is Ranjit, he works on EBSD. He is going, he does extensive processing of EBSD data that we acquire in uh, uh, our central research facility of IIT Kharagpur. And we have a license which is uh, given by Oxford Instruments UK. So we are able to process the acquired data uh, in our uh, lab here which we used to call exclusively the AMS lab but now we have as I said earlier renamed it as uh, the FAL Fabric Analysis Laboratory. So right now he is uh, processing I think data from a Milonite from a part of Eastern Ghats region in India. So you are able to also make all the pole figures right? good. So this is one of the other things that is done in the laboratory here in my research group. <coughs> 